Yelena Bolchenko was born on September 22, 1990, and was raised in Brooklyn, New York. She was born to parents Anna and Anatoly Bolchenko. Yelena was described as a beautiful and charismatic young woman with a lovely personality. She was always known to have a smile on her face and be in the best possible spirits. The intelligent and sweet Yelena was someone who was focused in doing well for herself. At 20 years old, Yelena worked at a dental office called Bright Smile Dental and had future plans of becoming a nurse. Yelena was happily in a relationship with a man named Gerard, who loved her deeply every single moment they spent together. The two had plans for the quickly approaching Valentine's Day, and they were looking forward to it. Yelena's boyfriend had the evening all planned out, making sure to order two dozen long-stemmed roses that would arrive just in time for Valentine's Day, topped off with a heart necklace, just a token of his appreciation for her being her. But Yelena wouldn't be around to receive her gifts, because on February 11th of 2011, just a few days before Valentine's Day, an unthinkable tragedy would take place. On that day, a crazed man who was obsessed with Yelena made his way to her Sheep's Head Bay home. This was someone who made advances toward Yelena and was rejected every single time according to people close to the case. He felt something very strong for Yelena, but she didn't feel the same. This was only someone she met previously and was only kind to him in the past. Nothing romantic about it. Yelena had her life in order and was already very much in love with Gerard. She wanted nothing to do with a relationship with this man despite his claims that they were an item. Yelena changed her phone number and tried her very best to stay away from him, but very soon this obsessive behavior would turn deadly. Around 10 a.m. that day, this man made his way to the Bolchenko home. When he arrived, he found Yelena's mother and began asking her where Yelena was. He had done similar to this in the past, arriving unexpectedly and making deadly threats if Yelena refused to speak with him. Yelena's mother was not going to give up her daughter's location. There was no way she would put her daughter in danger. As she refused to answer, he would grab a large kitchen knife and begin stabbing Anna, while continuing to ask where her daughter was, as if trying to torture her to get the information out. She would die from a vicious attack as he stabbed her several times, plunging the knife deep into her, with her dying soon after, right in her own home. Yelena had no idea that this horror was unfolding. She had become privy to this man's intentions and ability to commit violent acts when she received a call earlier that day, but now he was after her. As he drove around the neighborhood looking for Yelena, she would make her way home where she would discover her mother's body. Distraught and confused at the horrible scene, she made her way out of the home in tears, frantically attempting to call 911 or anybody who could help. Gerard would receive a phone call letting him know that Yelena's mom had been stabbed and began making his way toward Yelena's home. But so was this madman who wanted to do Yelena harm. Gerard was trying to make it there as fast as he could, but this man made it to Yelena first. He made his way back to the Bolchenko home after having no luck finding Yelena. When she saw him, she knew he was the one who did this to her mother. She would run to a neighbor for help, but they were overpowered by this man, who just couldn't be stopped. He would begin viciously stabbing Yelena with no second thought. He would then get into his car, but then he got out of the car, and in front of everyone, would begin to stab her again, ending her life in cold blood for everyone to see, and all because she didn't want anything to do with him. The man was arrested and would spend the rest of his life in prison, and that same man would be responsible for brutally killing four people in total that day. May they all rest in peace. My condolences go out to all of Yelena's loved ones. You aren't forgotten.